the global supply chain is changing. We're witnessing a historic change as cheap labor is losing to automation and scale is losing to customization. This redesign of competitiveness gives a great opportunity for countries like Saudi Arabia as we embark on becoming a pioneering manufacturing hub. Vision 2030 aims to transform Saudi Arabia based on three pillars. Our ability to invest, our Islamic and Arabic depth, and our strategic location. The Vision includes 13 programs, the largest of which is the National Industrial Development and Logistics Program. For Nedlib to succeed, we look towards the private sector to play the leading role. We've identified opportunities in each of the four sectors under Nedlib. For example, in logistics, we've highlighted four special economic zones and identified the concept of a logistical hub. In manufacturing, we created a package worth 45 billion real for automotive manufacturing. We created a similar package for advanced pharmaceuticals and for chemical conversions. SADF's goal is to be the financial engine behind the transformation of the kingdom into a pioneering manufacturing powerhouse and a global logistical hub. It means to us three main changes. First, increase in capital. Our own dry power has to be increased. And over the last two years, we increased from 40 billion real to 65 billion real and now to 105 billion real, 28 billion dollars of capital. Second, we expanded our cover from focusing on manufacturing to include mining, logistics, and energy and expanded the products we offer from senior secured project finance to offering products across the capital structure. Now we're playing a more proactive role in reaching out to the investors, but also in shaping the ecosystem at large. Saudi should be the first choice for foreign investors coming to the region. It's the largest economy in MENA and one of the G20. To enable those investments, especially the higher value add investments, Saudi government is setting a lot of incentives uh, to increase its competitiveness that for both Saudi and international investors alike. We have five competitive advantages. Regulatory, currency, infrastructure, financing, and location. Regulatory, we have SAGIA providing foreign investors' licenses for 100% ownership and leading an effort through the Ministry of Commerce to improve ease of doing business in the kingdom. Second, Saudi has a very free monetary policy allowing the flow of money in and out and a stable currency relative to the dollar. Third, we have state-of-the-art infrastructure being built by Royal Commission of Jubail and Yamba and the uh, Modern Industrial City Authority, effectively plug and play, provided at minimal cost to the investor. On financing, SIDF support the investor from the project finance throughout the life of the project. We provide at SIDF up to 75% financing to international or local partners coming into the kingdom, effectively putting the government as a partner. And fifth, our location. Our export authority worked on improving our accessibility to the larger markets around and supports the export activities of our industrial players with a newly created Exim Bank. We already launched a pilot and supported more than a billion dollars in, uh, in loans for the Exim Bank. The Kingdom has shown its commitment to the environmental goals as clear from the Paris Agreement, the SIDF. We have a covenant in every loan that we give to maintain a certain level of environmental standards and we are nudging our clients to invest further in energy efficiency by providing a combined advisory and financing product. For renewables, and we hear more, mostly focus on wind and solar, we support it in two ways. First, in the manufacturing of renewables, and second, in the use. For manufacturing of renewable equipment, we treat them as strategic sectors, thus qualifying for 75% financing of CapEx. On the use of renewables, we just launched in September 2019 a project to finance the use of renewables at a commercial scale. For example, we provide debt to renewables used as a commercial scale, whether it's a factory to reduce its own electricity demand or even a commercial building looking to do peak shaving through renewables. SIDF finances that from 50 to 75 percent. The health of the SME sector is essential for any global economy. Hence, in Vision 2030, we aim to grow the contribution of SMEs to be 35% of GDP. We created a new program called AFAQ, which helps to move SMEs from being small to medium and medium to large by giving advantageous financing, focusing and curated to their needs. By giving cash injection and helping them with the cash cycle, we partnered with Munshaat, the SME Authority, 
and Badr, the government incubator, to support entrepreneurs coming with ideas. We hope that it will help them grow even faster and move from being a small to medium and medium to large.